between the rocks and the sea, where the waves hit hard and the desert meets the Pacific Ocean face to face. There are stories rarely told to the rest of the world. In the cold waters of northern Chile, the Pacific Ocean is at its best. The life forms that find refuge here, sometimes temporary and sometimes forever, are varied in shape and size. Cold upwellings fill this water with an abundance of nutrients, which is why this place has such unique biodiversity. Flowing from south to north, these waters are part of the most productive current in the world, the Humboldt. These underwater pathways are frequented by animals who need to constantly be on the move for survival. However, some animals have found this to be the perfect place to settle down and perhaps even raise their young. A South American marine otter, or chungungo, is not only the smallest marine mammal in the world, but also one of the most mysterious and unknown otter species. An animal that has been threatened and persecuted for its fur now seems to have found safety in this protected paradise. And she is not alone. There are two important reasons to live here in the shelter of this rock. A successful litter of two, and at almost a year in age, these siblings are becoming more and more independent by the day. They still have much to learn from their mother, but when her back is turned, the call of adventure beckons them. Playing is a critical part of their development and helps these otters build skills that will ensure their survival in this environment. They must be extremely active. A dense coat, but very little body fat requires them to be feeding constantly to combat the cold temperatures of these icy waters. Their quick metabolism goes against the speed of the ocean, a place where time seems to work under a different set of rules. Below the surface is a mysterious and turbulent underwater world where the mother must find the necessary food for her and her children. The mother otter is the apex predator of this healthy ecosystem. Everything here can potentially be prey. However, these underwater kelp forests are the ideal hiding place for fish and crustaceans to escape. She knows that here, food is abundant. The slightest carelessness of any creature will bring food to the always hungry mouths of her pups. Each day, they should consume at least a quarter of their own weight. Other predators, such as sea lions, also know about the secrets hidden deep in these nutrient-rich kelp forests. This mother has found something, and she must quickly return to the surface to breathe and eat. A tasty crab is a good source of protein to compensate for her efforts of diving in these cold waters, a well-earned reward, and for others, a great opportunity. These otters are not only the top predator of this underwater forest, but they are also important for other species that would never have access to this menu. As she returns for another catch, the seagull should thank the little predator. 
60% of their day is spent swimming and looking for food, which is why they need a streamlined body designed to be efficient in the water. But also, a design that is suitable for terrestrial life. It is here, on this rock, where the family has created the bonds that unite them. A dedicated mother and some anxious young hunters waiting for food. It is precisely these ties that make otters so formidable. Their intelligence, the transfer of knowledge, affection, and care among family members. That is the secret of success from one generation to another. And this mother does not stop. She will continue to be a provider and a nurturer until her young can learn to hunt on their own. And even then, she will have a watchful eye. But until that day comes, she must continue to dive and bring back food for her family. Hopefully this time, it will last a little bit longer. conger eel, an animal almost double in her size. This is a massive catch and will be enough food to keep the family fed and maintain their body heat for at least a few hours. On this small rock, facing the desert of northern Chile, these otters rewrite the history of their species. An animal threatened due to human activity finds in this family a light of hope, in a protected place with a healthy ecosystem and enough resources to meet their needs. And most importantly, a great mother fulfilling the hard task of surviving day by day with her little ones, doing everything possible to protect, provide, and teach. A mother who will soon see her children leave, but until the day that that happens, this family will stay together, not only feeding on fish, crustaceans, and mollusks, but also feeding their own curiosity. The curiosity that very soon will lead them to dive and explore the underwater forests in search of their own prey and break off into this healthy ecosystem whose future is in all of our hands.